Let me start off by saying, you know, security has always been a boardroom topic. Boards care about it, but right now it's actually getting even more important given what's happening with COVID-19. Given the risk the world faces, we have all of our employees working from home. We made that a mandate, not just required, uh, but we're taking a cautious approach as to how they come back. That's the reality of many of our customers. But the bad guys are not staying still. 148% increase in ransomware during this time. They're just looking for every way to take advantage of innocent people working at home. And then we've seen 52% increase of all attacks in the March timeframe targeting the financial sector. So it's very important that you, we have a different approach to security because our belief is the security industry has been broken. Uh, you'll see on this chart, 5,000 odd vendors, 15 or 20 different categories. And it's often, I describe like going to a doctor to stay healthy and she tells you, you got to take 5,000 tablets and you fall off your chest and that's just not possible. You know, so how do you prevent staying, uh, having 5,000 tablets, taking 5,000 tablets to stay healthy? You eat, eat your vegetables, your fruit, your proteins, drink your water, you make it part of your hygiene. And that's what needs to happen in security. We've got to move away from this bolted on approach, siloed approach where you've got, you know, various different, it just feels like eating 5,000 tablets, 5,000 security tools are all kind of like healthcare, deem themselves very important. Uh, and also from security that's just focused on threats. And the new approach needs to be one that's more built in, intrinsically part of the platform, like making it part of your diet, more unified as opposed to just siloed across all of the key pillars of security and a lot more context centric rather than just threat centric. To do this, we've been looking at kind of the value proposition of VMware. We're you know, about a $10.8 billion company and have played across these three or four layers of being a digital foundation for the world any cloud, any app, any device with intrinsic security. You've seen this from us several, uh, over the last several years. What we've sought to do is layer into that diagram five or six important control points in security that we think are gonna be super important to make security intrinsic. Let's start off in the bottom right corner of this with network security. We think a new approach for network security means that if you look at data center networking or firewalls or load balancing or SD-WAN, what is a $30 billion opportunity, a new approach you know, could be one where you could have in one platform all of those capabilities in something that's more software defined. That's what we've been doing uh, in, with NSX, our platform. Some co customers call us sort of the Tesla of networking because we're taking a somewhat you know, uh, traditional hardware defined approach to networking and building a more software defined uh, networking stack for security, much the same way a Tesla is building a software defined car. If you go to the left hand side, uh, you see kind of the endpoints, but it's two different forms of endpoint. An endpoint that's on the client side near the device, a laptop, tablet, or phone, or a endpoint that's closer to the server, a workload or a container. And in both areas, we believe we have an opposition proposition to really be the best uh, security solution for endpoint and workload security. Identity, we think there's a tremendous opportunity to be the best solution that not, not just does some ourselves, but also partners with the best of breed players, for example, um, Okta or Azure Active Directory. In cloud security, we're gonna do a lot ourselves, for example, cloud security posture management, but we're also gonna partner with the likes of well, web gateways and, and proxies like Zscaler or Netscope. And then analytics is the big kahuna because the more data that you have, the more equipped you are to prevent breaches. And what we believe here is this notion of what the analysts are now calling XDR, collecting telemetry from all of these control points, which we have exposure to, network, endpoint, workload, identity, cloud, and having one big data lake where you reason over this with a variety of behavioral and AI algorithms, and then provide the best way by which you can protect customers from possible future security events. This is something we are well best because we actually collecting the most telemetry of anybody uh, from disparate different sources. And you're going to only see this increase. You're going to see us build the best products in each of these categories, but one that's intrinsic and also works between them in ways that are incredible. Let me give you a couple examples. With Carbon Black, we're going to make it agentless on the service side with vSphere. Nobody else can do that. We're going to do that and you're going to see that very soon. With Carbon Black, we're going to make it unified with Workspace ONE uh, on the console, so you have a unified approach there on both the console and the agent, something that you also start seeing from us very soon. 
These are things that nobody else in the industry can do. Network security, you're gonna see from one platform, data center networking, load balancing, firewalls, and SD-WAN, beautiful security-centric networking story. For people who are watching this, I hope you were able to take two or three things away from this that you can also apply into your security practice at your company. Thank you very much.